Okay, good morning. This is my first video and I am going to show you how I do a full face of makeup. So it's going to be a little pause here and there, but that's because um, I'm going to need to put the camera down in order to use both of my hands. Oh, by the way, my name is Tanya. And okay, so the first thing I did was wash my face. Um, you have to make sure that you have a clean face. And as you can see, I have like a lot of blemishes and black marks um, really bad under my chin. So I have bad acne. Um, but all that's gonna go away once I apply the makeup. After I wash my face, then I put on um, lotion on my face and I use Olive Olay Active Hydrating. Okay, I used to do a full um, face of concealer, but now I just put it on the areas I'm trying to conceal. And normally you would use like a sponge or something, but I just blot it on those areas and then I rub it in with my fingers. So kind of pat it in the areas that you want to conceal. Um, it's a little blemish here, but you'll see my makeup is pretty awesome and didn't cost half of what I spend on MAC. But I love MAC, so um, this is just for budgeting purposes. So you can get the same look pretty much. Um, with less money. Okay, I think that should be good. Let's see. Got to get a little bit more to the areas specifically. Here, here. Here. Those are my problem areas. I hate those areas. Sometimes um, I'll put makeup concealer here. Here as well. And my eyebrows aren't done. So if I really wanted to, I would do concealer here to cover that extra hair, but I'm getting my eyebrows done, so I'm not gonna worry about it. But that's just a little trick um, that I have figured out. I don't know where I get it from, but it works for me. Okay, that'll work for now. And after I put on my concealer, I put on foundation. <clears throat> this is also from the Maybelline line, it's called Fit Me. Mine's is number 320. Um, so Maybelline Fit Me, number 320. And I usually use MAC again, but this was a product I found that worked just as well as MAC. So give it a try. Um, I apply my makeup with a brush. So usually I would pour like a little uh, dime size, nickel size drop on my counter. You can see that um, it's not a lot. It's just enough to cover and you don't need to use a lot at all. Now some people like their makeup to look like it's caked on. That's not the look that I go for, but this is enough. So usually I start here. Here, here, because the first place you put the brush is where the most of your makeup is going to be. And I just go in circle motions on my whole face. I work my way up my face, up, up, make sure I cover my eyes, get all the way to the hairline all the way back to the chin.
chin, here, here. Here. And let me see, give me one second. I wear glasses, so I need to put these on so I can see. My brush is shedding a little, so it's probably time for a new brush. But, um, yeah, I think I did a pretty good job getting coverage. So I have a little bit brush hair on my face. I'm going to pick those pieces off. Uh, let's see. So you can see I have some brush fibers on my face. So then right around my eye, I want to blot it with my finger. Um, that's to get a little more coverage there. See another little spot right over here that I missed by my hairline. Okay, after I do foundation, then I do powder. Um, again, this is from CVS, and this is the NYC or New York Color Wheel Mosaic Face Powder. Um, you can see that back there. And for me... This is 724A. It's called All Over Bronze Glow. So if you can see that there. So same thing. I have a different brush that I use for powder. It's a little short brush um, by Wet n Wild. So I bought this brush and I just dab it into my powder. Um, and I'll show you in just one second how I get the powder on. Okay, so here's my powder on my brush. It's not a lot, and if you can't see this, there are many different colors in this powder. It is an awesome look. Um, that's why it's called the color wheel. Yeah, I kind of ate down into the middle of that right there, but basically you have multiple colors. And it's supposedly when you put it on your face, if you notice like I'm lighter here, darker here, um, it will, pick up the right color in the right areas of your face. So I just usually, again, start here and circle motion this on. It's not a lot at all. I just really put a little bit. Again, I don't like a lot of makeup. Um, I do that twice. So I did it once. Here's my second set. Put it on. Get into the hairline area. Okay. After I do that, I put on mascara. This is my NYC New York Color. Oh, I'm sorry. No, this is NYX. Um, long pencil eyeliner in black. So, yeah, I'll do my eyes. You can see this is my eyes with no liner. Give me a second, I'll show you what it's like with liner. Okay, what I did was one eye, this eye is done, this eye is not, so you can see the difference. Um, yeah, that's how I do my eyes. I apply the liner under, close my lid, and put it on top right over the lid.
So now I have both eyes done. Um, this is black. And so next what I'm going to do is brown liner in my brows. Um, and that's because they're not done. So I'm just going to kind of fill them in a little bit here. This one here. Um, just to make it look full. So I have the same NYX long pencil eyeliner. Okay, so here are my eyebrows filled in. They're kind of really thick. Again, they are not arched at all. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, this is just what I'm going to have to work with today. And after I come from church, then um, I'll get them actually arched. And I may do another tutorial so you guys can see um, eyes with my eyes um, actually arched. So here, kind of fill this part in and just barely touching. If you get really close on me, you can see, but it looks nice from afar. Or, you know, if you're not really just staring at that part. Okay, after I do that, I have another brown liner. I like to line my lips with just a hint of brown because um, I just like a liner. So, the different liner here, same one or same brand, but I have mine labeled so I know which one is for my eyes, which one is for um, my lips. So. And I already have like a natural line on my lip. So when I put a liner, I don't even put a lot. I just put it. So for me, I just know it's there. Um, you can naturally see my lips are lined. Okay, so um, I bought <clears throat> a new color for my lips. Don't really wear lipstick. I don't like a lot of colors. But I was like, oh, let me try something different. So I bought this like pink um, color, kind of pink. Anyways, it's called Everything With Wine or Wine With Everything. I'll get it and show you guys. I just used this Nivea um, A Kiss Of Shine on my lips with my liner. But wanted something different. This is a natural gloss. I, I really like this. Um, wanted something different. So I bought this Revlon color. And if you notice, my lips already kind of have like a little light pinkish color in them. Um, this is Revlon Color Blast number 44, Sun Baked. It's what it's called. Um, it matched this other actual lipstick tube that I saw which was called wine with everything by Revlon but didn't want to spend that much money again on a budget so uh bought this Revlon color stay uh sun baked number 44 and this is a gloss um Sorry about that, but I'm using this as my mirror as well. If you guys can hear that, my kids are getting ready for church. So, so that's my look. Um, and I would appreciate you guys' posts, comments, suggestive uh, or suggested criticism, constructive criticism. Um, and I don't mind. Say whatever you want, you know, so love you. Hopefully this won't be my last tutorial. That's my look. I will try to do a before and after shot for you if I can figure that out.